came up with an idea and I'm kind of surprised that no one's thought of this already. Stay. Okay. But I decided to make a whipped coffee tiramisu and it's very good. Wait, hold up. The whipped coffee is basically this viral thing that everyone's going crazy about and I'm going to show you how to make it. To make it simple, it's coffee, sugar and water whipped up. Okay, let's get into it. So I made my lady fingers from scratch because I'm about that life. But seriously, they're so easy to make. In a bowl, I added two egg yolks, one eighth teaspoon of vanilla and 10 grams of caster sugar. Using a hand mixer, mix together until lighter in color. With the egg whites, you want to make a simple meringue. There are many different ways you can do a meringue, but I found this to be the easiest. Add the caster sugar in three parts. You're gonna need 50 grams of caster sugar for this. Whisk together until you have stiff peaks. You want to add both mixes together and finally you want to sift in your flour. You can see that I'm folding it in slowly because you don't want to get too much air out of the mix. Once it's fully incorporated you're ready to pipe the lady fingers. So I ended up piping some of my lady fingers too close together so I would recommend piping them about one and a half inches apart. Bake these in the oven at 190 degrees C or 374 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. These cool quite quickly. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. So just leave them aside until we're ready to use them. So let's make our cream for the tiramisu. In a bowl, add three eggs and 60 grams of caster sugar. Whisk together until light and fluffy. But Gracie, you're not gonna cook the eggs. No, they're already being cooked with all that sugar being added to the egg yolk. So here's a little bit of science. And then sugar, the egg yolks generates heat. So basically it's been cooked. Okay, I feel like we're ready to move on now. So you wanna add 212 grams of mascarpone cheese. It may feel a bit hard to whisk at first, but push through it, get that workout going. Add 200 grams of double cream to a bowl and whisk until it becomes thick. Now add all the ingredients together. So the reason I think mine came out so well is because tiramisu is already great but adding that whipped coffee elevated it to a whole new level. The recipe for my version of whipped coffee will be in the description. I dipped my lady fingers in some cold americano and placed it in the container. You then want to add your whipped coffee followed by the cream and then repeat. Oh, and don't forget to sift some cocoa powder on top. You want to leave that in the fridge to set for about three hours and then you're ready to have your tiramisu. And let me tell you, when I say this tiramisu is good, I mean it is banging. <sighs> Let's just take a moment to enjoy. So I've got my tiramisu here. It's not really picture worthy at the moment, but it was so good. Um, it's already like half eaten. But if you enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe. You know you want to do it. Push that button. If you tried out the recipe, um, then put it down in the comments below. Tell me how it went and I'll see you next time.